Hello Geomates, welcome to my channel at Easy Service, where we make all survey practices to be easier and educative. In this video, I want to quickly show you on how to calculate your NDVI, which is the normalized difference vegetation index. So the NDVI can actually be used to measure the greenness and the density of vegetation captured in a satellite imagery. In other words, it can actually be used to check the health status of your crops. All right. So the satellite imagery that is best recommended for calculating NDVI is the Landsat imagery. All right. And the NDVI can actually be calculated using this formula below. So the near infrared minus the red all over near infrared plus the red. All right. All right. So the index range is actually defined below. So from minus 1.0 to 1.0, that is the positive 1.0, all right, where negative values are mainly formed from clouds, water, snow, and values close to zero are primarily formed from rocks and bare soil. All right, so for very small values, that is 0 0.1 or less, the NDVI functions correspond to empty areas of rocks, sand, or snow. But for moderate values such as 0 0.2 to 0 0.3, it represents shrubs. So, why for large values, all right, from 0 0.6 to 0 0.8, indicate temperate and tropical forest. So, I'll be using the Landsat 8 imagery in the course of this video that has been downloaded from the USGS Earth Explorer. So, under this video description, I am going to drop the video to show you on how to download your Landsat imagery of your choice. All right. So, the idea behind this formula, which is the formula I just showed you, the near infrared minus the red divided by the near infrared plus the red, differs based on your Landsat data. So for your Landsat 4 to 7, the NDVI can actually be calculated by using this exact formula. Band 4 subtracted from band 3 divided by band 4 plus band 3. Alright, the band 4 is the near infrared reflected light band, while the band 3 is the red light reflected band. So for your Landsat 8 to 9, the NDVI can actually be calculated using band 5 subtracted from band 4 divided by band 5 plus band 4 all right so we are going to be making use of this particular formula in the course of this video because the landsat we are using is landsat 8. now in this video we want to differentiate between the ndvi calculated using global mapper and the ndvi calculated using the agis so right now we are going to be starting with the global mapper so to calculate your ndvi using the global mapper we are going to be using the landsat 8 imagery in the course of this video so the first thing to do on global mapper is to open your data files click on it then navigate to where your landsat data is this is my band 5 okay and um this is my band 4 up here so i'm going to add these two bands of interest so like i showed you earlier in the introduction the ndvi works using the two bands for the calculations the band 5 and the band 4 so i am just going to add the two bands which is band 5 is coming in first so i am going to add the band 4 So guys here we are with the two bands five and four so to do your ndvi calculation global mapper the next step is to go to analysis click on it then scroll down to raster calculator click on it so here you make sure the two bands under your layer the workspace is checked here then you click on ok so under this place you are going to rename the layer description so i'm going to call this global mapper mdvi all right so here under the add predefined formula you click on it to choose the ndvi for landsat so as you can see there are different 
um, raster calculator analysis you can do the NWY and the rest of them so in the course of this video I'll be going down to NDVR Landsat 8 OLI alright so you can see the formula is already displayed so band 5 minus band 4 divided by band 5 plus band 4 so that is the formula to calculate for NDVI so after that you come to add band you click on that then you make sure this is actually appearing here all right so when you are done with that you come to shader you click on the drop down shadow arrow here so most times it's maybe on default shader all right so your own duty as the gis analyst is to check the ndvi shader all right so when you are done with that you are going to now click on ok so it's going to bring another prompt so here band 4 you check the band 4 Landsat imagery, alright. Then, then you come to band 5, then you check the band 5 Landsat imagery, then you click on OK. So that is just it. It will start calculating your NDVI for you. NDVI, the normalized difference vegetation index for you without much stress. So let's wait and see what our result is going to be like. So guys, that is just it. NDVI calculated using the Landsat 8 imagery and um, using the global mapper. So the next thing I'm just going to do is to quickly export my results so that I can import it on ArcGIS, then compare with what we are going to be having on ArcGIS, all right? So to export, all you have to do is to click on the global mapper NDVI on the layer, right click, come to layer, then you see export layers to new file. Then you click on it so here there are different formats so the major format of interest is jotif this is the particular format your rgis is going to be able to read so you click on ok then here you click on ok so here a very important thing to do so you make sure you check the elevation 32 bit floating point samples all right so when you are done with that you make sure here is unsigned and here is signed okay so you click on ok then here you are going to rename the file output so i'm going to rename this as ndvi global mapper then i'm going to click on save so you make sure you know the path it is going to so it is already exporting for me So guys, it's done exporting, so I'm just going to uncheck and minimize my global mapper. Then I'm going to launch into my ArcGIS. So this is my Landsat imagery, the band 5 and 4 that has been imported already. So I'm just going to calculate the NDVI based on ArcGIS software. So I'm going to run that with you guys together. So just watch out. 